What's going on, everybody? Welcome. I'm going to get my glasses here so I can read people's comments. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's talk about the truth. Okay? Just a second here. Hey, guys, you mind shutting that door? All right, I'm back. <laughs> What's up? So, uh, we're just going to talk about the truth today. Um, here's the thing, man. I've have, I have a long and illustrious and uh, one might even say a little bit seedy relationship with the truth. Um, it's only in the past, like, five years or so where I've gotten a healthy relationship with the truth. And I'd say especially the last couple of years since I've gotten clean that I've been able to get a really healthy fucking relationship with the truth. And what I want to drive home here is that what's done in the dark will come to the light. People think that they can hide shit. They think that they can continuously sweep things under the rug, and that if they just manipulate enough, that people won't figure it out. But here's the thing, man, is that once you realize how important it is to be truthful, it's like you see through everybody's bullshit like, like that. And the only thing that's stopping you from calling them out most of the time is whether or not it's a waste of your energy or not. Because what I've recognized is, all of those times when I was trying to manipulate people and I thought that I was fucking being Mr. Slick, really what it was is they were like, man, this kid's retarded. Like there's, man, like I almost just want to give it to him so I can get him out of my face because if I have to explain to him how ridiculous this explanation he just gave me is, I'm already losing because if he thinks this is working, there's nothing I'm going to be able to say that's like, oh, do you understand how stupid that sounds? Because obviously they don't. They're giving you these excuses. But the hard thing is, is that when people lie to us, when we lie to other people, we are actually telling a lie to ourselves first because we have this impression like we're going to be able to pull the wool over somebody's eyes and not have it be recognized by God, by our own conscience, by like the very fucking universe here. All right. Here's the biggest part of it, though. When you lie, you know. Do you respect liars? <laughs> Do you love liars? Do you like it when people manipulate the truth? So why would you like you if you do that kind of shit? This is some classic addict kind of thing too, where people manipulate the truth, then feel guilty and shameful about the truth, and then use more, and then fuck their life up more, are out of money, out of situations to get dope, manipulate more, and it's this fucking crazy, just gnarly spiral where you just fuck your life up unendingly by trying to get the next one in you by being malicious and untruthful. Now, the thing about it again, guys, is that I over and over and over and over and over come down to it that I don't believe that there's really anybody that's like directly evil i think everybody that feels evil or does evil ass shit is people that are motivated by fear because fear is the most damaging shit on the planet man fear is what causes you to lie fear is what causes you to hurt people to get them to get away from you because you feel unsafe if you have somebody that actually makes a real human connection with you it causes you to white fang people if you know what you know if you're old enough like me to know what that means fear causes you to run to hide, to manipulate, to attack when you shouldn't. Fear is the destructive force behind everything in the world and it is absolutely your enemy, the devil, whatever you want to call its most powerful tool. Because that fear will keep a good man from doing something he needs to fucking do. It'll keep a good woman from doing something that they need to do. It'll keep... Somebody who could be a good man or a good woman doing dirt because they are afraid that they'll never come out of it, that there's no other way to, to come forward. Fear 
is the tool of your enemy. Love and confidence are the tools of God. Nobody else in this world can speak the type of confidence into you that you can by having God, the universe, the very creator of everything inside of you and following that calling. I've had goosebumps for like the past five fucking minutes on this conversation because I'm so passionate about this. This is my truth. The truth is all that matters. Truth is not subjective. Truth is not subjective. It is not objective. It is simply the truth. It is or it isn't. And they always say that there's your version of the truth and somebody else's version of the truth and then what really happened. Bullshit. There's just the truth and what you interpret out of it. Okay? But if we're honest with ourselves, we can look at something and say, man, I misinterpreted the fuck out of that. If we look at ourselves and our actions in these cases, we can say, wow, I absolutely had a part in that. Wow, that absolutely did happen the way that other person said it did. Now, what we mistake most times is we try to, we try to like, ob like objectively place other people's personalities and our own personalities into the truth. But I will tell you with every bit of confidence that I can possibly summon in my body that there is only two motivators in the world. There's fear and love, fear and love, fear and love, the end. And if you're not acting out of love as a choice, you're acting out of fear. And that's just a fucking matter of basic deduction. It's one or the other. There isn't anything that will be done in the dark that won't be brought to the light. And your fear that's keeping you from being honest about it is what's causing it to continuously Fuck your life up because you're living dishonestly and dishonest living creates dishonest results. Dishonest results are exactly what they sound like. Facsimile. They're not real. And they will fall apart. When you put pressure on a facsimile of a bridge, it don't hold weight. When you put pressure on a facsimile of a man, his back don't hold out. When you put pressure on a facsimile of a woman or a mom or a dad, they crumble. All right. What I'm trying to get across is that you have to learn to be honest with you. You have to be learned to be honest with the fact that you're capable of anything good and bad. The only difference between any one of us really and Hitler or any one of us or any person that you want to demonize in any way, shape or form or any person that you believe is evil, which I mean, arguably, absolutely those, that one man was evil as fuck. But the only difference is based off of your actions. So any one of us could absolutely be the next worst person in the world or the next best person in the world. And that's entirely dependent upon our choices and what we choose to interpret as the truth. And I choose love. I choose love because it is the truth. Because choice is truth. Because choice of love over fear is truth. Because allowing that universal creator inside of me to help me make my decisions based off of what I know to be right, not what I feel like doing, changes everything, and it changes it for all of us. What I'm inviting you today to do is to stand up and stop being a fucking facsimile of who you're supposed to be. Stop putting up fronts. Stop telling people how far along on the path you are when you ain't even fucking there yet. Shit, stop telling people fucking anything and you just let your results speak for themselves. The results are the truth. You can't argue numbers. You can't tell somebody, hey man, you didn't win that race. Even though you came in first, you didn't win it. It's just not how that works. Results speak for themselves. You can't tell somebody, hey, you didn't build that house. When they built the fucking house, they know they did. And the amazing thing about walking in the truth is when you walk in the truth, other people cannot manipulate you nearly as well as they can when you walk in falsehoods. They say you can't con a con, but I disagree. I think that when you're some type of con artist, you have so much crap going on in your fucking head at all times that it's easy as fuck and people take advantage of you all the time. I watch it happen. Like literally just think about all the like the fucking just excuse my words here, but like degenerates that you might know in your life. And they're not without, they, they can absolutely return from that. They can come back from anything. But those people that are just out here in these streets, living that street life, fucking one another over constantly, 
constantly fucking one another over. But they always have a finger to point at somebody else. Nobody's ever like, man, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the game. I'm sick of the lies. I'm sick of everything. But since they're always trying to work one over on somebody else, somebody working one over on them constantly. But when you speak your truth, when you say, fuck, no, that's not how this is going to fly. All of a sudden, shit changes. When you say, fuck, no, I don't agree and I'm not going to agree. Shit changes. People get mad at you because they can't manipulate you. But when somebody gets mad at you because you won't budge on what your life has going on in it, because you know that's right, that person's a manipulator. That person's lying to you. That person is focusing on fear and not love. Every choice you have in your life becomes clear as fuck when you function on love and truth. It's easy. It's a cheat code. <laughs> it's a cheat code. That relationship that you have that's strained. Drop all your ego. Attack it with some love and some truth. Be truthful to yourself. Am I doing as much as I should be doing? Am I expecting too much? Could I be a better partner? And if, if you don't answer yes to that question as anybody's partner, you're not being honest. Because absolutely you could be a better partner. There's no such thing as perfect. You could always improve. Could you a better be a better business owner? Yes. Could I be a better employee? Yes. Could I be a better anything? Yes. And I say these things about me because I know who I am and I know how easy it is for me to get on cloud nine thinking that I'm fucking Betty Badass or whatever the hell you want to call it. And I know that I need to check myself with the truth. I am just a person. I am flawed. I'm not able to do anything by myself. I have to first allow my heart to let truth and God and, and that creator deep into me before I can do anything and have it be lasting. Otherwise, I'm doing it all for my own glorification and nobody likes hanging out with self-glorifying dickheads, man. Do you really honestly, like, let's be honest, man. I like hip hop a lot, man, but do you really think that all of these people that that's all of their rap is based about is how dope they are, how cool they are, and how shitty everybody else is are gonna last at all? Or do you think the greats, the real greats out there in any type of music genre are the people that speak from the soul? They discovered their truth. They discovered who the fuck they really are and just spoke it into the world. Because that's why I'm here in front of you guys right now because I've discovered who I truly am. And I know without a doubt that that purpose is to stand here in front of people and to stand between people and themselves with my words and say, I believe in you. I know that you can stop living the lie right now and today. I know that you can one day look in the mirror and say, fuck, I love you. I fucking love you, dog. I know that one day you can look in the mirror and say, I don't even know who this person is or where they came from, but I'm so glad that they are here. I'm so happy that they have arrived in my life. I'm so happy that I've learned who I am and I've stopped questioning it because I don't do shit that makes me question me anymore. I don't do stuff that I say, why the fuck, what is wrong with me? Why do I keep doing that? Why do I keep lying? Why do I keep breaking promises? Why do I keep blah, blah, blah? Because when I keep it simple and I just tell the truth and I fucking stick to my fucking word, as hard as it is to do, I'm not saying that it's easy. Fuck, man, I'm a parent. Do you know how hard it is to be a parent? If you don't, fuck, I'm just telling you, it's hard. All right? It's hard. But I refuse to be anything less than the fucking best example of a fucking man that my kids could ever fucking ask for. For the rest of my life, what happened before here is fucking irrelevant. And I'll tell it to you. I don't care. I've got nothing to hide. I know who I am. What I'm inviting you today to do is to figure out who the fuck you are. As I'm telling you, it ain't all them lies and deceit. It ain't all that shit you did back in the day, all those people you hurt. Obviously, you need to fucking take care of that trauma and take care of those people you hurt in some way, shape, or form. But what it comes down to is that you're only living one of two ways. You're living a lie or you're living the truth. You're living in fear. You're living in love. I think once you get it right, 
Once you really get that formula right, you understand the power of living in truth and love and walking with God in your heart and not questioning your path anymore because it's being downloaded into your fucking conscience from above at all times. That the idea of going back to the old way, the idea of going back to fear, even though you might struggle from day to day sometimes, the idea of going back to it permanently is fucking revolting. It just makes my stomach turn to think that I could ever go back to who I was before this. Like, the man that I've become now looks at the coward I used to be and doesn't even see a person. It just sees a scared little kid, at most. A pack of lies that never existed. Well, I exist now. And I know you can too. Love all of you. Find yourself. Never stop fucking having a conversation with them.